not everyone. Some people are very confused about the location, the river, where, where they have to give an appeasement for spirit to accept it. Some spiritualists are, are used to only giving appeasement to certain spirits using the, the water you reconnected from. And they will think that is the only way because that is how they are taught. Okay, but that is not the only way. There are many ways to practice spirituality. Hmm? Based on our culture, our tribe, based on our situation. Okay? So you can give, uh, you can do appeasement in any water, in any river, in any country that you are in. But before you do that, you have to do a divination to ask the spirit which river or which lake, where, which place, location that they can come and collect their offering. But you have to explain to the spirit why you cannot give the offering in their choosing water or their water of recognition, the water of your bed where you came from. Hmm? So you have to tell, tell the spirit. And they are very understanding. The spirit are more understanding than you, than, than we human beings. Okay? So you have to explain to the spirit your situation and ask them, you have to give them, get a list of the, the rivers in your in your location that you are and ask them to, to choose which location that they will prefer to come and collect the offerings. They, will, they are definitely going to choose. But there are some spirits that are used to, you know, their location and they don't like to travel, to go to other locations to go and get something done or to receive something. So these are the spirits that are going to insist that it is done in their own territory, in their territory where they are used to. Yeah, so anyway, you can do water appeasement in any river, any lake, but you have to do divination first. Reincarnation water is not the only only um, way, only method that you can give uh, water, water appeasement. It's not only the reincarnated water. But since some people are used to that, because that's how they are taught, they are going to focus on that. But you cannot blame them. They are not wrong, because this is how they are taught. You know, they can't think otherwise because this is how they have been used. They are used to practicing. Mm? In the ancient time, people don't travel so long distance that often. So obviously, they don't think afar, you know. But anyway, in any country, whether overseas, you know, anywhere you are, any city, you can call spirits to come and take an uh, uh, appeasement, to come and take a sacrifice and they will come. But the person that carries the staff of authority is the person that will be able to do this. Because you can use your staff to invite the spirit. Or even to summon spirit. And they will come to anywhere you they want. You want. Also, it depends on the, the level, the rank of the spiritualist. It's like when a president calls a civilian. It's hard for a civilian to say they can't go. Or when a governor in the state, someone or a king invites some, a civilian to come. You know, then you cannot say no. It's hard for you to say no compared to ordinary person. But when the spiritualists that are called, that have sp staff authority, invite spirits, they always honor the invitation. And if it's a spirit that uh, the situation is not favorable to them, they are going to express their concerns. You understand? But otherwise, you can do a water appeasement in any river, in any country, in any state that you are. Because I'm doing that, you know. I come from Africa, but I live in the diaspora and I do my water appeasement in diaspora and I invite my spirit from Africa to come and take my offer, my appeasement. And they come to take the appeasement. Even my age mates, my spiritual friends, they come all the way from Africa. Hey, spiritual. <laughs> and it takes just a few seconds. We are traveling. They will, you know, Transit to another location. Spiritual, spiritual beings don't need visa. They don't need to, to take a flight. They don't need to catch, you know. In fact, it's easy for them to travel fast. Even in the water dimension that you, you can take a train, but the train is fast. Speed. And that speed in your mind, you think it's long speed, but it's just few seconds. You're there. So anyway, if you ask a spiritualist that is insisting to do your appeasement in your bet water or you know or the water of your recognition is your bet water right and you suggest to them to do divination to ask the spirits what they want and they refuse then you have to look for someone else that can do it for you 
in their water because a spiritualist can be in South Africa as long as they carry this type of authority and they can be able to do appeasement for you. You who you are living maybe in other parts of Africa and they can do it using their own water in their country to do that for you. Do you know that? All they just have to do is invite your spirit to come and eat the food, to come and take the offering. Okay. Hmm? You see how powerful this type of authority is? Yeah. So anyway, it's not only your water of births, which is your water of reincarnation. Okay. But people that don't know will always think it's only that way because they are not used to other ways. Hmm? Me, I'm talking from experience. If I didn't experience it, obviously I'm going to think it's only water of reincarnation that you can give your appeasement. But because I'm experiencing it regularly, le regularly, <laughs> and I'm seeing the spirit coming regularly, you understand? So I understand that you can do your appeasement from any water, but you have to ask the spirit. Hmm? Yeah.